Hey guys, Sakar from Saki Ticket, and today's video I'm going to show you guys how to cast the screen of your Samsung Galaxy smartphone onto any high definition TV as you can see happening right now. Now this is a great feature to use if you want to showcase photos on a large screen TV, perhaps to your friends or family. So if I go to my gallery, I can just access my photos and I can have the entire thing simply show up on the large screen in great detail. So let's dive in and get started right away. All right, so there's my TV playing a little video in the background and here's my Samsung Galaxy smartphone. So basically all you wanna do is start the casting process is you bring down your notifications panel and then you go to your quick toggles, okay? These are the quick toggles and you wanna look for this option right here that says smart view. Now, if you don't see this option, let me show you how to quickly enable it just so you're ready and prepared. So if you don't see the smart view option, just bring down the quick toggles on the side, tap on this button and tap on edit buttons. And it's gonna be somewhere here, okay? That says available buttons. So once you find it, for example, let's say it was over here, day active, you would just grab it and drag it to the active area. And even on the active area, you can move it around to where you want it. So I have it on the top corner for easy access. So it's going to show up right there. All right, so once you have the smart view enabled, just want to make sure that you understand your TV does have to have Wi-Fi and it does have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network your phone is connected to. So the TV and the phone have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Now, once that's achieved, you bring this quick toggle down, you click on Smart TV, and you're gonna see this screen right here, and it's saying select a device to mirror your phone screen or play content. Now, it does not have to be a Samsung TV, it could be any brand, simply has to be a Wi-Fi TV. So it can be an LG TV, could be a Hisense TV, whatever you got in the house, it's fine. But once you see the list of TVs here, you may have multiple TVs in your house, you're gonna see multiple devices. So I'm seeing my Samsung high definition TV, which is turned on. So all I do is I tap on it and you're gonna see this screen at the bottom. It says start mirroring with smart view. Once you see that uh, toggle, you tap on start and look at what starts to happen. My phone is now actually being reflected onto the TV. And as I interact with my phone, you can see it changes. Okay, so what do I do on my phone is gonna show up right here. Now, let me show you one example here. I'm gonna to go to my gallery. Here's a couple photos, look at that. Photos are gonna show up in full screen depending on the orientation the photo was taking, uh, taken or a video is gonna show up in the particular orientation it was taken. So this was a widescreen photo. It takes the full screen. Now this one here was a portrait shot. So it's looking, as you can see, it's a portrait shot showing up on the TV. Uh, if I zoom in here, it is going to zoom in here too, okay? So that's fantastic. You can do that with any app that you want, YouTube app, games, whatever you need. So here's a calculator app, and I can start using the calculator. You can see I'm using my phone. There we go. So that's fantastic. Now, there's also going to be something in the background at all times. So on the phone, you're going to see this icon. That's the smart view icon you can hide this icon now it becomes a little line on the corner you can tap on it to bring it back and then depending on the kind of tv that you have if you tap on this option you are going to see a bunch of different options so this is a samsung tv so i'm seeing a couple extra things but most is going to be the same so here you can see i can tap on disconnect oops just tap on disconnect and that's basically just gonna disconnect the whole thing. So now I'm back to my TV, my PlayStation is back up. But again, if I just wanna go in, look at how quick the whole thing is. So tap, all right, tap, start, and my phone is back in business. And again, that thing icon is gonna be on the phone. You can put it anywhere that you want. At any time you can tap on it and then access all the settings. Now there's an option I wanna quickly talk about here. It's known as the app cast icon. Let me show you how cool that app cast icon is. So if I were to go into a particular application and if I tap on that button and if I choose app cast, if it's available, so in the gallery application, 
you can see app casting is not available. So let me do the YouTube application. I'm gonna go over here. Now here's the YouTube application. Now if I tap on this, you're gonna see the app cast option. Now if I tap on the app cast, look at what happens. Basically what happens is only one app that you have chosen appears on the TV. So I can have my YouTube application just run on the TV as you can see separately. And I can continue using my phone. So I can make a phone call, you know, check some messages and all that stuff. So the casting and the phone actually are now independent from each other. That is simply fantastic, all right? So again, if I just maximize this, it goes back to the app per app uh, on the TV and whatever I do on the phone gets mirrored over to the TV, but I can do app casting to separate the phone from the TV, but still continue to cast an application that I choose. So that's how easy it is to cast your Samsung phone onto any high definition TV, as long as the TV is Wi-Fi TV and it is connected to the same network. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?